the teams are coming out. Haiti in white and Jamaica in their gold and black for this huge clash for a spot in the final. There is the German coach for Jamaica, Winfred Schaefer, under immense pressure. The local fans here believe that if he's not able to deliver the Caribbean Cup to them with his uh, poor win-loss record so far as the coach, um, then maybe they should find another coach. Well, I think it's very deceptive. Uh, as we said earlier, Lance, the type of oppositions he was playing, uh, the type of teams that he was playing against, the World Cup caliber teams, I think that uh, every good coach needs a, a bit of an opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand respectfully for the playing of the national anthem of The crowd building here in the Montego Bay Sports Complex, ready Jamaica. now for the national anthems of these two teams, Haiti and Jamaica. Getting excited as Jamaica's reggae boys face a high-quality hated team with a place in the final on Tuesday night against Trinidad and Tobago at stake here with a cool night in Montego Bay. The fans are bracing themselves for this tough hated team that has really been impressive so far in the tournament. The Jamaican lineup pretty similar to the one that lined up against Antigua and Barbuda on Friday night. The match officials for this one, Joel Aguilar from El Salvador. The assistant referees are Garcia from Puerto Rico and Louisville from Suriname. Jamaica's starting lineup, Andre Blake, Alvis Powell, Jermaine Taylor, Hewan Gray, Joel McEnough, Dane Richards, Javon Watson, Rodolph Austin, Simon Dawkins, Kimar Lawrence, and Darren Mattox. Lawrence and Mattox were the two scorers in two of the scorers in their victory over Antigua and Barbuda Friday night. Hate his lineup: uh, Johnny Plalsi, the goalkeeper; Jean Sonny Alkina; Jim, that's Kim Jaggi; Pierre Jean Jacques; Wilde Donald Guerrier; Ronald Guerreau; Kervins Belfort, who gets a start here. He came on in the previous matches and played the super sub role. Jeff Louis, Sebastian Turia, Julian Abaska, and Sonny Mostivar. That's the Haiti lineup as we get ready for Haiti against Jamaica in the top of the table clash in Group B. The two captains out there, Rudolph Austin in the number 17 shirt for Jamaica and the experienced number five for Haiti, Pierre Jean Jacques, uh, the captain of the team. Pierre Jean Jacques, 33 years old with 64 caps. Joel Aguilar, the man with the whistle, he's from El Salvador. The assistant referees, Jaijo Garcia and Ramon Louisville. Garcia from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico and Louisville from Suriname. So, Joel Aguilar has the job of holding the whistle tonight. A game that is expected to be very, very tense here. The Jamaicans starting exactly the same lineup 
that played on Friday night against the Antiguans. Many of them had played as well two days earlier against Martinique. So we've got to look closely to see how the Jamaican legs hold up here. I think the coach Schaefer going for continuity. Um, he, he has a team that has played together for a little while now and they have, have some sort of gelling and he don't want to disrupt that. So he's he leaving them to go in here and play. But he is going to ring in the changes. They got Seaton and these guys who can come off the bench and really have an, a, a spark and a, a good impact for them. Okay. Haiti, by the way, have made a couple of changes to their Friday night starting lineup. So some level of rotation there in the Haiti team. Not so at the moment for the Jamaican team at least coming out of the last match. I think Belfort has, uh, has pushed his way and forced his way into the starting lineup because he has scored the goals. Uh, I don't know if that's the right thing because he, he did it coming off the bench and maybe he's not a good player starting, but we'll see tonight. Here's the kickoff, Haiti and Jamaica. Jamaica with possession early. Long diagonal pass downfield here, searching for Mattox, who doesn't get to the ball in time. And it's the Haiti number seven, Garia, uh, who scored in the last match winning possession of the ball. Abeshka, who wasn't a starter in the last match. Beautiful skill. These uh, Haitians have very good ball handling skills and are, are very good passes of the ball. Impressed me for my money as the most impressive team in, in the tournament so far based on the preliminary round matches we've seen so far. And Jamaica will have to stop the likes of Touré and, and, and these guys in midfield. Uh, and Luis and uh, Jacques Luis up front because these guys have good passing range. Uh, one of the Jamaican players are down early. Dane Richards. Uh, Dane Richards. Uh, they, they wouldn't want to see him down this early. Uh, but it, it seems like he might get back up. Uh, it seems to be a bit of a knock knee to knee um, a little bit earlier. Yeah, he's 30 years old now, Dane Richards. Had represented Jamaica in the Under-17 World Cup when the Jamaicans had qualified for that. Played for several years with the New York Red Bulls in the MLS and now he plays for Bodo Glint in Norway but he right now is uh, ailing and uh, the medical staff for Jamaica paying some attention there to young Dane Richards you see Michael Seaton in the background warming up there just a precaution I, I, I don't I think Dane will come back off come back on the pitch and, um, and contribute that's exactly what happened here Ah, a collision between the two players there. Looks to have knocked up his knee on the Haitian defender as both of them went for the ball. So unfortunate there for Dane Richards. So for the moment, Jamaica down to 10 men in the opening couple of minutes of this match. Well, Seems to be playing head volleyball at the moment. Belfort, that's the danger man, the super sub we call him on Wednesday and Friday, but tonight he's a starter, so you just have to park that super subtitle that we've given him. And, and some of those, the, some of those things are very dangerous. A player score a couple of goals, and the coach probably think, "Yeah, let me get him in." But you have to remember, he's been scoring coming on when the other team legs, but was a little bit jaded, and and he's coming on fresh. Uh, it will be interesting to see what he does from the start tonight. Jermaine Taylor, experienced. Player Taylor, 75 caps for Jamaica, the 29-year-old, plays in the MLS for the Houston Dynamo. Alvis Powell, also an MLS player, with the Philadelphia Union. Haiti on the advance here. Jeff Louis, big burly, making room for himself here. Tumbles over from the Alvis Powell challenge. And the referee, Aguilar from El Salvador, awards a free kick to Haiti in a very dangerous position. Yeah, um... There he goes, Lewis turns his man, a bit of a, a hand on his shoulder, uh, not much to do, but probably the referee thinking yeah. uh, it was a bit more. Uh, so he's a dangerous position, Lance. Yeah, I thought he lost his balance there more than being shoved over by Alphas Powell. But these things happen in football. Dangerous play here for the Jamaicans. They have to def defend stoutly. Belfon. The debate going on with Jeff Louis. Belfort and, and, and Jeff Louis. And Alcana, the number two, also standing there as well. He seems to be the one who's taking the responsibility and uh, getting the other people out of the way. So Haiti having a chance here to strike an early blow on the reggae boys. Jeff Louis. Alcana, the number two, standing behind the ball as well. Home spray to ensure 10 yards applied by the referee Alcana and Louis. I think Alcana will strike it with the right foot. 
Here comes the kick now. Louis over the top. It was Louis with the left footed effort that just went over the crossbar. Jeff Louis, the 22 year old who plays for Standard Liège in Belgium, had to strike a goal there and didn't miss by far. I think uh, it's a case of uh, it being just a bit too close to the 18 yard line, so he couldn't get up and down uh, as quick as he would like. Mm. So Haiti putting pressure on Touria, heads the ball back to goalkeeper Johnny Placide. Who was very, I'm very impressed by Placide. He, he was a very competent uh, goalkeeper in the last game, made a couple of good saves. His distribution was good, his composure was good also. He gets a very long kick downfield. Guerrier sends the ball downfield. Powell puts the challenge on. Louis looking for another foul. Uh, he thought he, sh he, he should have won a free kick at the corner flag there. Powell under a bit of pressure. Gorel with a long ball downfield. Excellent pass, but not taken too well there. Ball over the touchline for a throw to Jamaica. We're in the sixth minute. Positive start here for Haiti. Gorel. Pierre Jean Jacques. Hugh and Gray. Austin. Under pressure, Austin. Gray. To make up the advance here now. Counter attacking play. Not a very good pass. They're looking for Mackinough. Just a little bit too far forward for Mackinough to take comfortably. Here's Mackinough. Has been an influential player for Jamaica so far in this tournament. Dane Richards. Beautiful pass inside to Simon Dawkins. Brilliant save by Placide. The rebound comes out here now to Lawrence. Mackinough. Mackinough. Throw to Jamaica. And there you see the importance of Placide. Good build up by Jamaica. Good passing sequence. Mackinough involved again. Richards with a great true ball. That's a beautiful and pass. And he, but I think the striker did well. He does hit the ball. A bit too straight to the to the goalkeeper and a yeah. good sharp save coming down from him. Yeah, Dawkins could have done better with that throw here to Jamaica. Long throw into the box. Guria for Haiti. Loses the ball. Watson. Mackinough. Mackinough. Loves to dribble Mackinough. Has great skills. Richards. Mackinough has Austin with him, plays it to the captain. Richards. Still Richards. Plays the ball short. Watson wasn't able to get to it. There goes big Jeff Louis. Pulled down by Javon Watson and appears to slap at him as he ro rolled over. <laughs> and the referee spotted that. He tried to conceal it by just making it look as if it was, he was rolling so, over in the motion. Lance is so, going to be so difficult to have it tonight for the Jamaican <laughs> Jeff Louis. He's big, he's burly, he's you strong. See the he's size strong, of his thighs. And he, when he runs with the ball, I mean, he's like a machine when he goes forward. And I think uh, they, 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 they will have a lot of problems if they give them an opportunity to run at them. They need to be very tight on him and not give him a run at them. Alcana, still Alcana. Taylor gets the ball away for Jamaica. Dawkins puts the chase on. Jean-Jacques. So a busy opening nine minutes of this game. Haiti. Very pacey, good passes of the ball. Jamaica very willing to go forward. 
constantly spraying passes upfield for their forwards, Mattox. Dane Richards and the forward players, Dawkins to chase. Powell, Austin. Taylor, Lawrence, Watson, Taylor, Austin, plays for Leeds, the Jamaica captain, Leeds in England, was player of the tournament in 2010 when Jamaica won the title, good Rudolph steady, Austin. Good steady player, good professional, uh, he always seems to put in a good shift when, he, when he's on the park. Turia, beautiful skill. Uh, a little lucky there in getting the ball bobbling back to him. But he fights hard for the ball. Now he's kicked over Turia. Strong player is Turia. He's good on the ball. Uh, low center gravity is so difficult. Look at the three Jamaicans around him and he's battling. He's, he's scrapping. He's, he's fighting. He's, he's turning. He's twisting. And, and in the end, getting a free kick. Good player, Turia. Yeah, Sebastian Turia. Plays in the... NASL in the United States for the Dayton Dutch Lands. 24 years old. Plays with a lot of quality, composure, confidence on the ball. As most of the Haitian players do. Yes. Both teams looking very careful in defense. They've got to measure their play and to be sure that they are high on efficiency and accuracy in their decisions. Shot there from the back, Guerrilla. Yeah, well spotted by the referee. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago waiting, and there we go. Um, Turia going in, and you can see, push his shoulder into the guy in Taylor, um, in his back, in Powell's back, sorry, and um, rightly called a foul. There's Andre Blake. Number one draft pick in the MLS draft a year ago. With the Philadelphia Union, having completed an outstanding college career at the University of Connecticut. Belfon gets free down the left side. Chance here for the Haitians. Lawrence gets the ball away. Yes, Belfon with a strong run in. Uh, taking on all uh, um, defenders. Uh, Powell will have a tough time with Belfort here today. Jeff Louis <laughs> goes for the cracking left-footed shot from distance. Dawkins slips the ball over his opponent's head. There goes Mattox now. One against two. Mattox plays the ball inside here to Dawkins. Jamaica, number one. That's goal number one, Simon Dawkins. The Reggae boys have taken the lead and Matinga Bay erupts. Great play, great goal, all around play from Jamaica. Winning the ball in midfield, breaking out. Uh, Dawkins and Mattox, you see Mattox in a fantastic ball, just over the head, and a it's a great finish because the composure of the young man to chip the ball over the on-rushing goalkeeper from Dawkins after he missed an earlier chance. Great goal for Jamaica, um, and a good early goal for them. So Simon Dawkins, the 26-year-old who plays his football for Derby County in England, Strikes his second international goal for Jamaica. And this is a vital lead here that the Jamaicans have taken. What will Haiti do now? Haiti needs to react. Jamaica needs to not let them out and keep the tempo up on it as they do it right now. Looks crunching, like bad crunching tackle. Crunching Looks challenge like they there. Went over the ball and 50-50 there, Austin. Had been bothered, bothered years ago with a, a pretty serious knee injury. Oh, it it studs up, isn't it? Yeah. To crash into the Jamaican captain's shin. And there's not much protection with the, the shin pads. Sorry to bring it back up, uh, Lance, <laughs> but there's not much protection with the shin pads nowadays. I remember Russell Latapi at one time was playing in uh, Portugal, and they used to come back with these large shin pads. They used to actually put their foot in a mole and make the shin pad just for your feet. And it was it's a huge shin pad, but it was very light. Austin takes the kick himself. Wow, goes for goal, I think. But it wasn't that venomous a shot. 
And the Jamaicans in front by one goal to nil on that Simon Dawkins goal. advantage here. Patients had impressively topped their semi-final group. And I don't think they've trailed in the tournament so far. So there's Austin. Still Austin. Oh Austin is going all the way here. Dawkins fails to get it. There's Turia for Haiti. Guerrilla. Across here to Alcana. Takes the play is Jeff Louis. Louis still favors his left foot for the second time in six minutes. He has driven a left footed shot towards goal that is blocked by the Jamaican defense. Here is Mattox getting some support now in the box from Dawkins. Mattox. <laughs> a bit of short time for the crowd, Mattox. A bit early for that. Austin. Uh, large. McEnough. Dawkins, the goal scorer. Dane Richards. This cross doesn't find the target. Blocked. McEnough kicked over. Referee allows the play to go on. Playing the advantage because the Jamaicans still have the ball. Belfon tackles aggressively for Haiti. I think Makanov is inquiring from the referee why he didn't call the foul against him when he was knocked over. That was <laughs> a strong tackle there by Belfort. Gravity. The legs of Belfort, why he was called for the infringement. Yeah. Terrion. Alcana with the ball for Haiti. They're on the move now, the white clad Haitians. Ball crossed inside. Dangerous cross here, headed over the top. Belfort misses an opportunity to bring Haiti level. Uh, so the super the sub in a starting role today doesn't find the target from six yards. And there's the danger of the Belfort. Uh, he, he can't take your eyes off him. Good serving ball into the box. He just gets behind this marker and wasn't able to keep the ball down and get it on target. But that is the danger of a Belfort. He's, he's at the biolish in his, in his play and that's a very dangerous type of player. Yeah, he was just a couple of yards outside the six yard box and I think he had good balance meeting the ball and just didn't really get it on target. So the Jamaicans, Mattox. Mattox using his skills here now. Has a lot of confidence in his skills and his dribbling ability, Mattox. Here's Kimar Lawrence. Yeah. Mattox really tuned in on his style uh, from, from the first moment that the game has started. But he has been playing well, uh, so his confidence is going, and the coach is keeping confidence in him. Makanoff is going to be a marked man tonight. So far in the tournament, we have seen him turning the screws for Jamaica from midfield. And uh, they've got to keep a close eye on him. The downside for me would be his the work rate that he put in in the first two games. Third game now in six days, Jamaica on the attack. Taylor. Trying to fend off Jeff Louis. <laughs> Louis is a very combative type of player. He, he seems to want to get involved in everything. Here he goes. He's, he's backing into Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, Taylor pull him a bit. And uh, there he goes. <laughs> he sends a leg after. What was that about? Uh, I don't know. But <laughs> we begged for him to come off the last game last because he looked like he could get a yellow. A red card at any point in time. Very volatile guy. 18 minutes gone. Jamaica in front by one goal to nil. Here's Belfon right in the action again and appealing to the referee, I think, for some challenge on him. But the Jamaicans have taken a vital early lead here with that Simon Dawkins strike. Good team goal, though. A lot of good movement, good passing. Uh, something that was missing the, the first game that the Jamaicans would have played. Dawkins rushes onto the ball. Doesn't beat Guerrero for the ball. And Placid, everything Placid does in the goal for um, the Haitians is very positive. Uh, he makes up his mind, does what he want, he, what he has to do, and does it very efficient. Nice, good confidence for the rest of the defenders in front of you. Turia loses the 
ball. McEnough wins it for Jamaica. Austin. Richards. His first touch, not the best. Austin gives the ball away. Throw to Haiti. Midway their own half and approaching 20 minutes into the game. Jamaica on that early strike from Simon Dawkins grabbing the advantage here. Statistically, the Jamaicans have been very outstanding against Haiti. Austin wins the ball. Chance here for Jamaica. Mattox. Goal number two. Darren Mattox puts the Jamaicans in front by two goals to nil. The captain delivers the pass. Mattox provides the finish. And the Jamaicans are ecstatic. Great goal again, Lance. Another team goal. A great true ball by, by, by the captain. Slipping it in. A good finish. Just chipped in it. Chipped it over Placid. And here he goes. Matos, who have been showing a lot of skill today, and he's showing it in his finish. That's a great finish from Matos. And uh, the Jamaicans are on a roll. But earlier in the tournament, we spoke about the Haitians having that flat back four and that true ball, two true balls, two goals. Okay, so we are just halfway through the first half, and the Jamaicans enjoying a comfortable 2 0 advantage here. Just before the goal, I was about to point out that statistically, the Jamaicans have been very good against Haiti over the years. They have played 20 times in history. Of the 20 games, the Jamaicans have won 11, Haiti have won 7, and there have been two drawn results. And the Haitians, the Haitians have not beaten Jamaica since April 1984. So coming into this game, uh, statistically or from a track record standpoint, the Jamaicans would feel encouraged by their track record against the Haitians. It's just that the Haitians came into this match with good form and good quality in the game so far this week. Well, uh, Lance, should we now take that FIFA rankings and throw them out the door? <laughs> because we've been saying that all night, that if Jamaica played tougher games, uh, so the results were harder for them to get coming into this tournament. But, but playing those type of quality games would prepare you for lesser opposition. Sometimes you, you lose, but you actually win. Yes. Well, coaches will tell you a lot of times that they play matches not for results. Here's Jamaica on the attack. Not for results, but to develop a strategy and team chemistry. And to look at players as well. All over the touchline. Jamaica enjoying a 2-0 advantage here with Mattox and Simon Dawkins on target so far. That's why they're called practice games now. Lawrence wins the ball for Jamaica and now McEnough has it. Lawrence. Still Lawrence. McEnough. McEnough. Still McEnough. Tripped. The referee allows the play to go on. Mm. Austin. Under pressure, Austin. Taylor. Powell. Gray. One of the few players in this starting lineup, Gray, playing football domestically himself. And Kimar Lawrence, the left fullback. There he is now. He plays for Harborview. Dawkins. McEnough. Dawkins. Beautiful skill by the Jamaicans. Dawkins is tripped. Mattox and Simon Dawkins. And McEnough putting on a show here for the fans. Dawkins, McEnough. Uh, all getting involved in it. There we go. Passes, Mattox, Dawkins, swiv swiveling, and no, no choice for Torrey. But we missed the early part when uh, McEnough was involved in it. And um, good football from the Jamaicans and setting up a good chance for the captain Austin, who can strike a ball from this distance. And he scored the last goal on Friday night against Antigua and Barbuda with the header. So he's in scoring form, Austin, and the fans are anticipating something special here. Free kick. Austin! Punched away! Makanov fails to take the rebound. It's a sharp chance for Makanov. Um, it's a reaction. 
ball coming back out of them in peace. Um, good strike from Austin, a bit too straight to the goalkeeper who dealt with it. Here we go. Um, easily dealt with by the goalkeeper. And, and the tough one for Martin of the, the, the redirect on target. Mm. And he didn't get over it, so that was the problem there. Here's Haiti. They must try to respond to this early onslaught here by the Jamaicans. McEnough. Beautiful skill by the Jamaicans. McEnough. Beautiful play here. Mattox gets on the end of it. No, he doesn't. Oh, the Jamaicans are finding a rhythm here. I'm very impressed by the football. It's sharp, one two, one touch movement, pass moving off the ball. I think we, we, we're preparing for the dream final, uh, Lance. TNT versus Jamaica. Well, we're some way off. The Jamaicans have given, their self, given themselves the best start to achieve that result. Austin. Jeff Louis. Louis shoved off the ball. Free kick to Haiti. Significant that the seven victories that Haiti have had over Jamaica all time, they achieved five of them in Jamaica. So... History records that they're not afraid of playing Jamaica in Jamaica. In Jamaica. Well, let's see what, how they respond here now. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're confident bunch, and here goes. Wow, the ball stolen Jamaica. here. Goalkeeper Andre Blake gets to the ball. Well done by the Jamaican 23 year old keeper. But it's a giveaway from Jamaica, a bit uh, nonchalant, and, 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 and they don't want to get overconfident at this point in time. They want to keep playing and, and do the tricks and drills up further up in the, um, the, the final two. Yes, Haiti is not the type of team that you're going to relax against. They, they have enough quality to fight back. 2-0 is not an irreversible score, especially so early in the game. Uh, we have seen that score. We re re reversed a couple of times in this tournament already, uh, Lance. Winfred Schaefer, the German who coaches the Jamaican team, screaming to the players on the field his instructions. He is. It's an important game for him to Lance, an uh, important tournament for him. Uh, I think um, it, it, you see coaches all over the world, you know, they, the players are never um, fired when the results are bad. It's always the coach. And I think that uh, he has been under some pressure uh, in Jamaica to bring results. Yes. Alvis Powell. Mm. Too sure why he wasn't able to keep that ball in. Haiti. crashing into Dane Richards and stunningly the small frame Dane Richards <laughs> effects some pain on the bulky and most muscular Jeff Louis. there's probably a 40 pound difference in weight <laughs> I hope you got that leg you know those big heavy muscles and knee into them and um, it could be his mobility could um, could be um, you know not what it's supposed to be. He has this big, strong body, almost belying his age of 22. He's said, actually over the dead ball now. So yeah. He does fancy his left footed kicks. Referee Aguilar plays the whistle on. The Jamaicans get the ball away. So the fans in the stadium here have been given. A lot to cheer about in the first 28 minutes. Kiwan Gray does well. Haiti with control though. Lawrence, intelligent with the tackle, didn't commit himself too early. Just waited and measured how the play would go. Mackinac. Still Mackinac. Watson. Lawrence, Watson, 
Lawrence coming in to assist. Oh, he ran offside. I think he wanted the ball played one time and uh, they waited a bit too long to, to, to feed him in and um, it's Lawrence waited a little bit too long. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that should have been a first pass. First goal, but it should have been a one time. Yeah, he should have played it sooner. Turian hasn't been able to advertise his magic. He's up against a rampant Jamaica team, but here comes Haiti on the counter attack. Blake is easy with the take. The Jamaicans are on a rhythm here. I guess they're aptly named the Reggae Boys. Jackie, the number four, had that ball earlier. Haven't seen much of him in the tournament so far. Alcina. Lawrence takes no chances. Gets rid of the ball. It's a cool night here. There was some rain earlier on in the match between Antigua and Barbuda and Martinique, which Martinique won by two goals to nil. But the rain has left us now. It's left the field a bit wet, but I think good playing conditions. And the night is cool. At perfect atmosphere for football. Uh, the, the pitch just a little bit greasy. Uh, players enjoy that type of pitch. And uh, the, the, the weather is very cool. Turia. Oh, that's a fine shot by Turia! Braces the crossbar! <laughs> and what a drive! And there's the threat of Arturia. Uh, he, he, he hasn't been in the game for so long, and there he goes. And to, what a strike! It, it, it comes off the crossbar, actually. And yes, um, out of nothing, Haitian uh, had a good opportunity at goal. That was a surprise shot from Turia, one of the players that we had projected would be a player to watch tonight. with excitement haven't had a lot to cheer about with this Jamaica team for the past year or so a Caribbean Cup title here would go a far away into satisfying their appetite for some football success Mackinac Korea Good talent by Mackinac wins the ball Dawkins Mackinac Dawkins again, still Dawkins. Beautiful play inside here to Mattox, and what's wide of the goal? Mattox turning swiftly, driving with the left foot towards the far post, and missing by inches. Yeah, the three, the three tandem again, Mattox, Dawkins, and uh, Mackinac, Mackinac doing good work in midfield, winning back the ball. Here he goes, plays a ball to Dawkins. Dawkins then slips it into Mattox, who takes it on his left foot and strikes, and just a little bit wide, but not, not a bad opportunity at all by uh, Mattox. So Mattox, inches away there from a second goal on the night. Seems to be a clash of heads there, uh, Lance. Haiti number seven, Will de Guria, who scored. I think you and Gray got hit in the head, and Guria is more concerned about the blow to lower his, his lower back. Mm. Less than 13 minutes to the halftime break, and the Haitians are in problems here as the Jamaicans are running riot on them. And I think you see how important Lance uh, the fans are. I think the atmosphere in the stadium is, is not so loud, but it's still electric. And, and the players are feeding off of that. I, I didn't see the Jamaican team play in this manner, with this sort of energy and this sort of flair. There are people now to show off for. There are people now to, 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 to trill in the fan, in the stands. Turia, the captain, Jean-Jacques Pierre, very experienced for Haiti, has 64 internationals.
Le Fort. Post truck on goal there by Garia. Belfort seems to win all the air balls, uh, lads, and, and, and the, the Jamaican team will have to cover the next man who's making the run off of him because he's not trying to hold it for himself. He's flicking it on for the runners going on either side of him. Just over 10 minutes remaining in the half, and the Jamaicans have enjoyed most of the dominance in this half. 2 0, they lead through goals by Simon Dawkins and Darren Mattox. And it was almost three a couple of minutes ago with Mattox in his left footed effort on goal, squeezing inches wide. Turian. Belfort trying to, trying to turn there, but the Jamaicans would have studied his impact as a super sub earlier on in the tournament and they would have gotten specific instructions to not allow him too much room to do his stuff. I'd like to know if Sharkey is, is carrying some sort of injury while he didn't start him. Dawkins. Dawkins. Austin. Watson. Bad pass by Watson. In the 35th minute, I think that's the first errant pass by a Jamaican player. Mm. They're playing pretty well. Watson. Mackinac. Mackinac plays with so much patience and composure. Even in tight spots, he just remains calm. There he is. Good pass. Austin. Gray. Richards. Powell. Richards reads the play well and wins it. Not a very good pass by Richards. Powell. Austin. Loves to deliver these long 40-yard passes. Aggressive challenger from Reginald Garant. Sold uh, he sold uh, Makarov a little bit short pass. Um, did uh, Lawrence. Watson. That's Javon Watson. One of several players. I think five of them in this current Jamaican team playing in the MLS. Watson, the number 15, plays for FC Dallas. Dane Richards is dribbling in the wrong direction. Belfort is held back by him. And a free kick is won. A yellow card is also taken out here for Dane Richards. Well, he seems to buy the yellow card because he, in first place, he made the mistake by going the opposite direction and then put, and then compounded it by pulling down the guard. There he goes. You have to grab it, shoot. He hasn't been having such of a, a good tournament, has Richards, um, lads. Uh, I would like to see the kids see him uh, probably give an opportunity on him. So Richards gets... Uh, yellow card. Free kick to Haiti. And that big hitting. Jeff Lewis is positioning himself for a kick along with Alcana, the number two. Not sure who will strike this one. Jamaica setting up a five man wall, it seems. Alcana looks prepared to strike it, the number two. It's Jeff Lewis that strikes it into the wall and over. Corner kick to Haiti. I think Louis Kuchuk has all dead balls. Um, don't care where it is. <laughs> from this good strike. Good clean strike, um, but the wall doing his job. Wall comes right across dangerously here. Taylor gets the header on. Turian. Oh, that was a handball there. Inadvertent from Javon Watson. Here comes Louis jogging over again. Jeff Louis says, This is mine. Had a few opportunities to strike free kicks from this spot. And always we're seeing Alcana there as well. Just maybe as a distraction. But clearly Louis, Louis fancies himself on these. Maybe he gets it right in training and uh, just needs to compose himself in the real game. A five-man wall here set up by the Jamaica team. Louis drives a goal straight into the wall. So he just isn't, isn't able to pierce the wall and he's... And Watson is penalized for a foul on Louis and shakes his head in despair because he doesn't think that he fouled Louis. Louis falls pretty easily though, so 
<laughs> Louis <laughs> seems the, the, the bundle he to watch from, from where I'm standing, lads. He had nowhere to go, and he, and he, and he bought a foul out of that. I can't see Louis in this other <laughs> Someone must take it away from him. Alcana, the number two, might strike this one, or will it be Louis again? It's Louis again! This time straight. <laughs> Andre Blake, who has no difficulty holding on to that one. Uh, yeah, definitely all free kicks are Louis. And there he goes. Um, a good strike on it. Uh, yeah. He gets it to dip, uh, but no real trouble for um, the goalkeeper. Yeah, and who, too close to the goalkeeper. Yeah. He needed to get that, that shot away from the goalkeeper. Yeah, and Andre Blake, who has been good. Well, um, Watson for penalized for a foul again. Lawrence gets the ball away. Good work from the 22-year-old. Mattox is breaking free here for Jamaica. Placide wins it for 18 goal, but he's way out of position. The Jamaicans can't win the ball. So probably try a long-range shot on an empty goal. Turia. That ball just a little bit out of the reach of Kim Jaggi. There's going to be a change made here. Number, number 18, I think that's coming out. Mustivar. And Pascal Millian is in. Well, Millian had started uh, the last two games last. Yes, and played impressively too. Yeah, and I think uh, probably he would given a bit of a rest, but in, in the light of what is happening here. They need him. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's a player that covers a lot of ground on the yep. field. He's a midfielder that dribbles a lot and works really, really hard. Alcana with a daring dribble upfield here. Stopped impressively. Well, Millian and Hilia was, was the two holding midfields in the last game. Mm. Makinov's pass just very well read there. And the Haitians take the ball away. And there's a substitute, Pascal Millian. Trying to make an early impact in the game. It's already directing stuff. You see him. Yes. With the hand motions and yeah. his movements. Would have been a little surprising ball. that he didn't start. Yeah. Jeff Louis. Thomas over from another challenge. I think by the time this night is out, the crowd will begin to get very frustrated with <laughs> Jeff Louis. Million. Jeff Louis tumbles over again from a challenge from Rodolf Austin. <laughs> I mean, there he goes again. He, he, well, he had his, he had his hand on him, though. Oh, he, did have a, he did have a grab of his shirt. shirt I think this well. one is well justified. Yeah. Um, well seen by the referee. Yeah. But he's making sure each time to tumble over. And that's the key. Million with a free kick for Haiti. Dangerous free kick. Belfond tries to get to the end of it. Doesn't get there. Austin gets the clearance away. Tourian. Still Tourian. Austin takes the ball away from him. And there goes Dawkins. Still Dawkins. Beautiful pass. Or just a little bit too much on it, though, for Mattox. Mattox's cross. Blocked by Kim Jaggi. And, and the most dangerous time that Jamaica will have the ball is when Haiti. They, bro they break up one of the Haitian attack, and the counter attack is always on with Dawkins and Mattox in space. One just dropping in the hole, having to receive the ball, and the other one making the runs in behind. And the, the, the Haitians are very flat at that time because they, they push a lot of players forward. The two wingbacks like to overlap. Kiwan Gray has long throws, and he wants the players going into the box. Grace throw didn't get a lot of distance on it, a lot of height, but not much distance. Watson. Well, Gray whips the ball inside, but it's not a good one. It's a cool night here at the Montego Bay Sports Complex on Jamaica's north coast. And uh, the reggae boys enjoying a two-lit advantage here just a couple of minutes before the halftime break. Darren Mattox scored the second of the two goals Jamaica has had so far.
to Riyadh. Guerrero. Long searching ball for Guerrero. Doesn't get to it in time. Ball is over the touch line. Throw to Jamaica as we head towards the halftime break. This is the Caribbean Cup 2014 finals. The equivalent for cricket started off this weekend. And there have already been a couple of results with Ghana. Jack was defeating the Leewards band innings. And Jamaica defeating the Windwards by 13 runs in a nail biter. Well, is it the same, Lance? It's now a, a franchise uh, type of uh, game now with the cricket. Yes. Jamaica on the advance. Mattox is breaking free. There goes Mattox. Mattox tries a shot. Saved by Plessy. Didn't really get the power on the effort. Went for the placement. Just didn't get enough on it. Two minutes added on for stoppages. Belfort. Still Belfort. Shoved off the ball by young Albus Powell. Playing with authority. Powell, a very no-nonsense type defender. He really passes the ball out at the back. He normally hits a big lump up the field, but he's a very strong defender, uncompromising type of defender. And he's only 20 years old. Good player. Because Belfort exhibiting some of his skills. Yeah. Million. Lawrence, Makanov to Ria, takes it for Haiti. So the Haitians regain control of the ball. Beautiful pass. Belfort with a turn. Beautiful turn by Belfort. The Jamaicans rob him of the ball. And start off a counter-attacking play. There's a whistle. Mm. He had a lash, uh, but the player wants to seal them as if he has cramps. It's not cramps he has. Um, but there, there you go, that uh, young Taylor at the back, uh, very, very strong, uh, Powell, sorry, very strong player in, in the tackle. There he goes. Just get lashed on the shin uh, with the follow through. Um, inadvertent, I, I don't think it was a, a, a deliberate action. Um, just the follow through, then coming on Balf Belfort. So a very assertive first half displayed by Jamaica's reggae boys to take a 2-0 lead in a match that will decide which team qualifies for the final against Trinidad and Tobago on Tuesday night. Most definitely. I think um, they've bossed the game. Uh, defensively, the, the midfield uh, four have really run the game. Uh, Richards may be a little bit disappointing, uh, but all the other players have shown themselves. Mattox and Dawkins up front, uh, a handful for anybody. The movement and passing and interchanging of movement with uh, with uh, Lawrence and <coughs> and uh, Makanov through the midfield. You can see a, a lot of continuity in the play and um, a lot of change in the positions, and that's very difficult for any team to mark. A drop ball brings the first half to a close and the Jamaica's reggae boys have taken a very assertive position in this match with a 2-0 lead and the Haitians will have to fight hard in the second half to get back here. Remember the Haitians only need to draw this match to win the group and qualify for the final against Trinidad and Tobago on Tuesday night. The Jamaicans must win and obviously they know that. Yeah, and I mean, the way they set about uh, going about the game, they were very positive from the onset. They had that a lot of good uh, movement, a lot of good ball movement, and defensively, they have been very steady. So the players drift into the changing rooms. And uh, let's go now to Rochelle Johnson, who has uh, the Jamaican Miguel Coley from, and on the coaching staff, the Jamaican coaching staff. Miguel Collier, your thoughts much more than you expected? 
Um, not really. What we really did, we really worked them out in terms of um, pressing them in some areas, um, and that really worked out for us. There's some space between the defence and the midfield, and really target that and really get them on the counter attack, and that was really fantastic for us. It's just for us to really um, shut the game out, really keep possession of the ball and take it from there. Thanks a lot, coach. Assistant coach for J Jamaica. Uh, they lead um, Haiti by two goals to nil in the crucial top of the ta table decider. And the Jamaicans started bossing this game from the very start as uh, the kickoff in cool conditions here in Montego Bay. A couple of moments for Haiti. Uh, Jeff Louis, very prominent in this game from start to the half. We've seen him engage in a lot of plays here. Here is uh, Dawkins had an opportunity to score there but uh, didn't get a strong enough left-footed shot onto that one and Placide, the outstanding Haitian goalkeeper, uh, did well to stop. Belfort, uh, cross inside, no one there. In fact, Louis running past the ball. And here is how Jamaica uh, got things going. Delightful play by Mattox. Simon Dawkins just lobbing the ball over the goalkeeper's head. That was in the 13th minute. The combination of Dawkins and uh, Mattox, very, very impressive there. 1-0 to Jamaica after 13 minutes. So uh, the Jamaicans from that point were in control. Uh, Belfort there with a header that went over the top. Here is a Rudolph Austin, the Jamaica captain, setting Mattox through. And Mattox finishing powerfully. A side-footed shot. Right foot hard. Firm past the goalkeeper. 2-0 to Jamaica. And Mattox celebrates. Here's Austin driving one at goal. And uh, McEnough unable to make good use of the rebound. And uh, the Jamaicans comfortable in the end with their lead. The screaming right-footed shot from 35 yards out from Tourian. And uh, Jamaica doing well. Exhibition football at times. Uh, Mattox trying to whip that one left-footed across goal. Just missing the target. A couple of free kicks there struck by Ooh. Jeff Louis. Uh, none of them uh, breaching the Jamaican defense. Mattox racing through here, but not getting enough power on that uh, right-footed shot and Placide making the save very, very well. So the Jamaicans in charge here by two goals to nil. Statistically, uh, they have outshot uh, the Haitians eight to three with uh, shots on target. Uh, Haiti have had four shots off target, Jamaica three off target. 13 fouls for Jamaica, five for the Haitians and uh, corners. Jamaica, no corners yet. Haiti have had one corner, yellow card, one for Jamaica so far. But um, the action so far has been tight. Jamaica satisfied, I think, with uh, how the first half has gone. We'll be back in 10 minutes with the second half commentary. Jamaica against Haiti.
Cup team, visit cfufootball.org, jamaicafootballfederation.com, and for more by more action, follow on Twitter at CFU Official. Yeah. We're back at the Montego Bay Sports Complex for second half coverage of the Group B decider in the 2014 Caribbean Cup Finals. Jamaica in front of Martinique by two goals to nil. Strikes in the 12th and 20th minutes from Simon Dawkins and Darren Mattox. And Belfort and Jeff Louis standing over the ball for Martinique and they have to recover their 2-0 down They only need a draw to go to the final Haiti Jamaica must win to get to the final on Tuesday night against Trinidad and Tobago TNT eight-time champions of the Caribbean Cup Jamaica five-time winners of the Caribbean Cup Haiti have been champions once The kickoff has Haiti in white and with the ball, Million, who came on late in the second half as a, in the first half as a substitute. Gara with a forcing ball through the middle. Belfort unable to get by a tight Jamaican defense there. Mattox putting a chase on. I think it's the best half I've seen by any team uh, so far from Jamaica uh, in the in a first half in, in, a, in this game. And if they maintain that sort of start in this second half, I think they'll, they'll definitely be in the finals. Lawrence does well there. Austin. Shoved over by the Haitian number seven, Wilde Gurria. Captain Tom's over on the challenge. And spent a few months last year, I think, with the captain's armband at Leeds in the league championship in England. Good player, combative player in midfield, but also can pass the ball, can run with the ball, and um, he's a good uh, passing range, and, and also he has a good shot on, on, on him, and he's a good leader, uh, good guy to have in the team. Miguel Coley there, the assistant coach of the Jamaica team, talking to Rochelle at the end of that first half. Suggesting that having looked at Haiti before, there was a, a gap between their defense and their midfield that the Jamaicans decided to exploit. I think that was spot on. Yeah. Uh, we have lamented that here, Lance, that the defense, when they're attacking, they leave a lot of space um, <clears throat> for susceptible to uh, counter attacks. Foul there on Dawkins. Jermaine Taylor with this long free kick for Jamaica. Taken well by the Haitian 33-year-old captain, Jean-Jacques Pierre. Dawkins, Mackinough. Aveshka intercepting well for the Haitians. Here's young Kimar Lawrence who scored the opening goal on Friday night for Jamaica against the Antiguans. It's the first ever goal for Jamaica, right? Second. Second. Austin. Gray. Doesn't quite get to Mack enough. That was his intention. Alcana puts the chase on but doesn't keep the ball. Good to see a player the likes of Gray uh, in the team. You know, it also gives the, the local players because he's around a lot of foreign-based players. 
Um, and he, he's, he's hold his own. Um, he's been very steady at um, the right back position. Not not a, 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 a fancy player or elegant player in no sense, but very steady. Yes. <clears throat> and robust and willing to attack. That's how he plays for his local club. Waterhouse. Delightful ball there put on by the Jamaica captain, Austin. Just a little bit too much weight on it though for Dane Richards. Good tracking back by Mattox. Forces Jagged to turn the ball back. Millen, Turian, Haiti trying to build their passes in midfield. Alcana. Gurran. Turian. Powell expertly takes the ball down. Wow. Then gives the ball away. <clears throat> I think he was looking to get Gray in there, but Gray didn't want to commit himself to a forward play at that at the time. Alcana. Lawrence cleans things up at the back for Jamaica. Throw quickly. Gura takes the return play. Turia. Alcana. Gura. Belfort fails to keep the ball, but runs hard to try to get it back. The Jamaicans have given the ball away again. They haven't started the uh, second half as they started the first half, uh, but that is understandable. They, you know, they, um, the Haitians are coming a little bit more into the game. Louis <laughs> wasn't able to get the shot off. I think they all know about his prowess with those left footed bullets. So Austin felt committed to getting close to him to put a block on the shot and he and did was a successful. Good block. Yeah. yeah, very good block. Louis does pack a punch in that left foot and he can strike the ball from 35 yards out. You have to watch him carefully. Belfort almost gets the header. Mm. Throw to Haiti. Jamaicans haven't started the second half very well. Two or three occasions they have just aimlessly passed the ball away. And they have started the second half here playing the way they played against Martinique, which wasn't very impressive. Louis. Good play by Louis. The cross inside. Alcanar trying to get to it. It does. Good industry by the number two. Doesn't any, keep his any balance well enough. Football lads, it, it would have a swing, a momentum swing. And I think um, the Jamaicans just have to weather the storm. The Haitians have gone in and come back out uh, with a bit of vu and figure. And um, the Jamaicans just uh, have to weather that and then Get, get back into the, the normal rhythm, the passing game and moving and into changing positions and stuff like that. Austin put some pressure on. Gura. Forcing play inside here. Gray. Jackie. Still Jackie gets some room here. Belfort does well to keep the ball in tight spots. His cross isn't a bad one. Million, Million sets himself up for the shot. Doesn't get the shot off. Jamaicans getting the ball away. Mackinough missed the cool. Lawrence. Lawrence in no haste. Watson. Taylor. See Taylor experience helps the team. He stands there, he gets the ball, he calms the play down from behind. And you know that that transcends throughout the team when you, you, you set the halves play that composed and, and um, just passes the ball out to the back. Lawrence with the throw. Captain Sean Jacques Pierre with the ball behind for the goalkeeper. To 
we are. Million, Pascal Million, Goran. Million wants the ball back. He loves to be involved in all the plays for Haiti. Good defensive work there from Taylor. Makanoff. Back heel attempted there by Mattox. Doesn't quite come off. Austin shoves Alcana to the ground. Free kick to Haiti. So the Jamaicans losing the impressive rhythm that they had in the first half. Belfort sets the ball up here for a shot by Guria. We are not able to get the shot off. Louis keeps his balance well. Alcana. Alcana. Lawrence keeps the pressure on. Young, fit, and determined, Kemar Lawrence. Yeah, good defending uh, because Alcana, uh, one of the better technical, um, equipped players on the park. Good forcing corner inside. That looks to be Austin going up to get the header out. Gets Mattox going. Mattox tries to get Dane Richards into the play. Garia to Million. Giro. Taylor. Commits a foul. Belfort. That's his job, yeah. Um, Taylor, um, Jerome Taylor, um, breaking up stuff, um, killing the rhythm of the opposition team. Uh, you know, just um, Dean, Dean Richards has been the invisible man for me for Jamaica today. He needs to get involved in the game and start to stamp his authority, which he does have um, on the offensive end. And, um, you know, that, and that innovativeness, like Makhanov is doing on the opposite, opposite side. Yeah, but Dane Richards is a pretty small player, so sometimes with these long aerial passes, for him to challenge these bigger players for the ball is a little bit tough on him. He, he, he is more effective when he's running at players or if you play the ball through behind the defense for him to, to, to go on to them. So, or balls into feet, yeah. where he can then turn and, and, and use his dribble and, and pace. Yes, he's more effective there, but... The, the current style that the Jamaica team plays doesn't suit Dane Richards, isn't set up for him to be effective there. So Belfort, who played the super sub role so impressively for Haiti in their earlier matches, 2-2 against Antigua and Barbuda, and 3-0 over Martinique, gets a start today. And right now, looks as if it might be a reversal of the trend for him. He might be taken out instead of coming on. He may be substituted instead of being the substitute. Yeah, and if you, I think if you look down on the bench, you can see the player, Sharky, who, who we both were very impressed with in, in all of the games he has played so far, um, seems to be the one who's limping up and um, taking off the uh, warm-up gear to come in. The number 17, Sharky. Louis have been very disappointed on these uh, set balls and he persists in taking them. Uh, sometimes a player is off and probably they should give somebody else a chance to, to, to probably strike some of these free kicks. Yes. Austin. Paul's pass to you and Grace a bit short. To Rian. Alcanar with a delightful pass in, but Gray reads it well and bangs the ball away. I think Powell, young Powell, is a very good defender, uh, but uh, the, definitely the staff will have to work on him in his service out of the back. You know, he, he tends to leave it a little bit short or hits it a bit too long, and his, price, his passes are not precise. Jackie with the ball for Haiti. Guerrier, Louis, Tourian, Garon, Louis, 
Millian, Louis, trying to set himself up for the left-footed bullet shot. But the Jamaicans have all fallen behind the ball here, making things difficult for Haiti to get through. Million with a left-footed effort, that's disappointing. I think a player of million quality should have passed again. He, had a, he, he, he drifted inside and he should have passed. So the number 17, Emmanuel Shaki comes in, replacing the injured Kervin's Belfort. Shaki, uh, right hand seems to be heavily uh, bandaged. I think yeah. I remember him in the last game uh, with those type of bandages and uh, possibly probably have a bad hand injury yeah. and they didn't want to put him in. Yeah, because he's effective with his feet. <laughs> but if he falls, he could hurt the hand. And in football, you almost have to fall. So some discomfort. Jamaica on the attack. Dawkins breaks free. Dawkins! The cross inside. No, he must have been tempted to go for goal himself there. The angle was a bit tight. And if you kick those hard enough, sometimes it's pretty difficult for the goalkeepers to stop them. He did the unselfish thing um, yes. in, in looking to pass. But sometimes you have to be a bit selfish and probably he should have gone for goal. It was a difficult angle, but he could have aimed for the back post. Uh, there it is. There he gets a chance. He's not offside. He's yeah. not offside. And I would have gone for back post and hit a hard shot at the goalkeeper. So he, he hopefully parries yeah. into the part of one of your yeah. Russian attackers. He, he was close enough to the goal to be tempted to hit a shot. As I said, if you hit those hard enough, the goalkeepers will have trouble. Skill there by Louis. Good tackling by Watson. Mattox. Mackinac. Cross from Lawrence. Good build up there by the Jamaicans. I'm impressed with Lawrence, the left full back. He has a lot of energy, tackles very well for the ball, rarely loses when he challenges for the ball. And because of his ability to shoot, he also has good goal scoring skills. Yeah. He's made in the modern day uh, left wing back position players who can attack and players who can defend at the same time. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, his two international goals that he has had so far, one was with. Uh, left and one was with the right foot from left back i mean um, that's impressive in itself yeah so he can kick well with both feet austin putting the pressure on louis who uses his powerful shoulders and pushes him off andre blake with a terrific save the flag Excellent. had gone up for offside though was it he wouldn't he wasn't to know that he yeah. wasn't to know that lance and i, and I thought that was brave and it was very commanded. You see the referees checking on him. Yeah. Uh, very brave and, and commanded. Here he goes. Louis again. Louis turning his man. Austin. <laughs> and he turns inside. Offside. Yes, he's just offside. Just offside. But, but, but Blake wasn't to know that. And, yeah, and yeah. that was brave. I decide, and at the same time, decisive. Yeah. Only 23 years old, Blake. Plays for the Philadelphia Union in the... Uh, MLS, but he is the second string keep keeper at the moment, so he doesn't get a lot of playing time in the in the MLS. But he came into the MLS with a big name as a Yukon star. Michael Seaton is coming on. So the number nine Seaton. <laughs> Louis Louis has left from half pitch to run down there to to to, to get Mattox off. <laughs> Louis really. <laughs> He, he, he really wants to be a part of everything Louis does. He, he, if he has a chance, he probably might take the risk from the referee. So why is Mattox coming off instead of, of Dane Richards? Mm. Mattox, who have been having a very good game, in my opinion. Uh, very lively, passing the ball around. And, and it, yeah, a good appreciation for the crowd, for the work that he's done tonight. Okay. Turia. Goalkeeper's ball. 
it could be that the, 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 the coach is already thinking finals, Lance, mm -hmm. and probably giving him a rest, uh, and hopefully leaving Dean on uh -huh. uh, to work on his match fitness and, and probably give him a bit of confidence going into the finals. Okay, coach. What's the name of your team in Trinidad? Northeast Stars. And your school team that you coach? Naparima College. And they've won two titles already? Yes, sir. Okay, congrats, sir. <laughs> coach Angus Eve, the most capped Trinidad and Tobago international. Jamaica on the attack. putting some pressure there on Lawrence and there goes Lawrence again he's had a stout game tonight for Jamaica at left fullback very good defending positive in whatever he's been doing and and he can attack as we as we well know trying to get their game going have had difficulties here getting through the Jamaica defense Belfort apparently is being taken off there in an ambulance I'm too sure how badly injured he may be For the Haitians trying to put their passes together now to Ria. Gura. Alcana has a lot of place down the flank. Does well to keep the ball. Beautiful work by Alcana. Whistle from the referee. And Austin is being penalized, it seems. But mm. why would he call back the play when the team had a clear goal scoring opportunity? Yes. Oh, that's the handball. Was that a handball then? Yes, it wasn't. I don't think Austin committed a foul there. To be fair, the, the, the advantage was there to be played because yes. uh, the, Haitian Haitian still, the, the ball was still the alive box. for yeah. Haiti. Mm. Saki, the substitute, getting an early opportunity to make a mark on this game. Jamaica ahead 2-0. Haven't been as commanding in the second half here as they were in the first. Shark is kicking right across the box. Oh, headed wide. Tremendous whipping ball in, um, inviting one of the Haitians to go and have a challenge at it. It seems that Blake was mashing the thing, but this is the ball from Sharky. Nice bendy whipping ball, and good bits of defending there by uh, Dawkins coming back and do some uh, defensive duties on the dead ball. Yeah, putting some pressure there on the Haiti captain. Jean-Jacques Pierre, who was able to fight his way to get a header onto that ball. So the central defender and captain for Haiti putting his attacking boots on there, shouldering some responsibility as team leader. Lawrence putting pressure here on Alcana. Unfairly deems the referee. It was actually Watson that came in and made that challenge. Good to see young Jamaicans beginning to shine in international football. She's the feeling that there is a future in the team. He said Kimar Lawrence is only 22 years old, the goalkeeper. Blake 23 and Seaton up top. Uh, Seaton now on 19. the number nine is yes, he's pretty young himself. Seaton is 18 years old. 18. Beautiful turn here by Jeff Louis. His shot crashes into Alvis Powell, I think it is. 
the ball had squeezed behind for a corner. Good effort by Powell to try to save it. Good endeavor for his team. Yeah. And what I've seen, Lance, is that the, the Jamaicans are actually defending in their own half. As as in first half, and this, there goes the pass um, to, <laughs> to Louis well. again, and, and he, Louis likes a shot. Good defending from um, Powell, Powell taking a lash struck. for his team and just trying to save the corner. Header over the top here, so. But the Jamaicans are now inviting the pressure on lands. They, when they, they, in the first half, they put pressure high up the park. They were winning the ball in good areas. Now they're dropping off to the second. Header out here for the Jamaicans. Toura. Touria is trying to, well, he doesn't have enough room to get a shot off. And the ball comes back here to Jeff Louis. Louis, still Louis. Drives a right-footed effort at goal, but that's not his preferred shooting foot. So Blake has little difficulty in clutching on to the ball. Jamaica playing a very dangerous game with over 20 minutes ago. They seem to be already defending that, that two-goal lead. Has very good burst of speed, Jeff, Jeff Louis. It's one of the things that he uses to get by tackling players. He just pushes the ball past them and runs because he has this good burst of speed and then he kicks so well that he always presents a danger. Foul. Austin wins a free kick for Jamaica. Lawrence is down injured as well from probably an earlier play. Looks to have been struck somewhere in the groin. And that's pretty painful. I see the, uh, the Trinidad and Tobago team watching this game with uh, a lot of interest, Lance, they're in the uh, main stands of the uh, grandstand. It's funny, Lance, uh, he has only yellow tights, and I know that um, the ruling in FIFA, they don't want the tights have, have to be the same color as the shorts. As the shorts. Um, and, and there it is, you can see it very clearly. Um, you might see it in a match report, the referee might be maybe cribbed on it. Mm -hmm. Painful there for the young man. Didn't actually see the blow that caused him so much discomfort. TNT already through to the final, having a look at their potential rivals for the title. Of course, they've won the title eight times before Trinidad and Tobago, and they've been runner up, runners up four times. So I know somebody who was a part of seven of those championship games. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are a championship team, aren't they? Trinidad and Tobago, the Soka Warriors. And Jamaica trying to book their spot into the final. Jamaica's first ever Caribbean Cup title won in 1991 was over Trinidad and Tobago. Whipped inside here, headed away by Powell. Lawrence. Gets the ball away. Haiti pressing for a goal to get them back in the hunt here. Good work here. Jeff Louis. Jeff Louis still, Jeff Louis still. Gray gets the ball away from him. Watson loses possession of the ball. Jeff Louis, good build up here. Jeff Louis with a strike at goal or a potential strike at goal. Blake makes it look easy. But good play again from Jeff Louis. A lot of endeavor. The Jamaicans now find it very difficult to come out of the half. And the pressure is on them because they have changed the game. But look how deep Seaton is looking for the ball. He should be higher up the park to extend the team and, and so the Jamaicans can come out effectively out of their own half. Watson to Lawrence. Taylor. Richards, ball pops up into the air, Seaton, Seaton tumbles over, tumbles over from the challenge, free kick to Jamaica. 
Turia is coming out. So Turia is out. Uh, number 15 playmaker in midfield for Haiti taken out of the game. He has played every minute before now, Lance, and I think um, he legs just a bit going. Just a case of Haiti uh, freshening up what they're doing in midfield. Haiti at the back. Guerrero starts a left-sided play, and now the ball ends up over onto the right with Guerrero. Captain Jean-Jacques Pierre. Jeff Louis. Pushed off the ball by Austin. He tries, Louis. Uh, he, he never gives up. You know, he, he wants. He, he's not a shy player. He never hides from the ball. He wants to be in the action all the time. And coaches like that about players. Million. It is now camped in the Jamaican half, uh, Lance. Watson shoved off the ball and wins a free kick for Jamaica, hindside their own half. Gray with a free kick for Jamaica. Willing, directing the players to go forward. Didn't like that call. Haiti with a free kick hindside. Their own half just by the halfway line. Alcana. Goro. The number three who just came on, Jerome Mishak. Jean Jacques Pierre. Louis to Mishak. there for Jamaica none of the Jamaican forwards up there so as you said Angus the Jamaicans getting behind the ball a lot now Alcana <clears throat> play blocked Millen loses his balance but does well to recover that was real skill there thought he had lost the ball because he lost his footing but in one quick motion he got his balance back and took the ball and every time the Jamaicans clear the ball, there's nobody up. They're defending with 10, uh, not even in the half, but deeper than the half in the last final third. And they can't get out of the half for the last 20, uh, 15 minutes or so. Louis. Louis still with the ball. Gray fighting hard to get rid of the ball. Louis tumbles over in the box again. Makanoff under some pressure. Has not been as outstanding tonight as he had been in the two previous games or the previous two games. Not playing badly, but he's just he, he's not as commanding as he had been those no, two he's nights. he's not because Coach Schaefer is remonstrating and, he, and he's, he's put the team in a defensive frame of mind from the time that they came out in the half. Seaton has come on and look how deep he is as the lone forward. They're playing a lone forward. And he's, he's very deep and it's a very dangerous game the Jamaicans are playing now. They're allowing the opposition to get back into the game. Dane Richards gives the ball away. Contra-attacking move here by Haiti. This is Watson. Watson's pass is cut off. 
great challenges. Jackie with the throw. Shaki gets a challenge from behind, wins a free kick for Haiti. From the left. Shaki with this free kick from over the left side. Four Haitians across the 18-yard box, looking for service. Shot on goal. Straight, but Blake read it well. Great effort here by Sharky. Um, yeah. uh, I still think he was aiming for one of his players to, to make the slash and run across um, the goalkeeper, but unfortunately for him, none of them did. And good hands again displayed by... Um, the, the young goalkeeper Blake. Good work here by Garaw. Alkana. Alkana, good dribbling skills. Always a threat on the attack for Haiti. Million. Mishak. Louis. Jaggy. Jean-Jacques Pierre. Louis. Garon. Jamaicans get the header out. Mackinough. Mackinough. Dane Richards putting the chase on. Garon wins the what wins the throw. And here we go. The Jamaicans retreating into their own half. No pressure on the ball in the opposition half. Jean-Jacques Pierre goes lateral with the play because the Jamaicans are crowding up their own half of the field and reducing the number of passing options that the Haitians will have coming out of their own half. Nine minutes left in normal time. Shaki with the Whipped cross inside. Foul on Seaton, who, as you said, Angus playing pretty deep here for a forward player. He's picked up the ball about 10 yards from his own penalty area, not the areas you want to see him um, doing his work. The Jamaicans are only 10 minutes away from securing their spot, or, well, eight and a half now, from securing their spot in the finals against TNT on Tuesday night. And they just seem to be making sure that defensively they don't allow Haiti any opportunities. Wow, look how easily Louis gets through them all. Eventually, can't do it by himself, and Ewan Gray takes the ball away. Haiti now with the ball. Mishak. Oh, that's beautiful skill. That was Alkenai, in fact. And uh, the Jamaicans recover to get the ball away. Makanov has really good ball skills. Seaton back to Makanov. Makanov is tumbling over from the challenge from behind. Could be in trouble here. Yellow card. He is in trouble. And, and this is why I'm saying, lads, I don't understand the, the tactic of dropping off and holding at this point in time when you can play like the Jamaicans can. And, and the, the game that they play, they could kill off this game effectively, but they're allowing the attack. A two-goal lead is one of the most dangerous leads to have. Judelin Avashka gets the yellow card for the challenge on Joby Makanoff. There's a play, Makanov getting away and the sliding challenge from behind, taking his legs away. Aveshka gets the yellow card for that challenge. Free kick to Jamaica. 
Only one player in the box challenging for the ball. Dane Richards gets near to the play, the number 11. Simon Jackson. Simon Dawkins. McEnough. The cross inside. Wow, Seaton not there. Now the goal. Now the post. Wow. <laughs> I was certain that one went in. Great play in the corner with McEnough and Dawkins. And uh, McEnough creating the chance. And here to go again with Richards. Richards with a cross inside. His cross is short. Gray does well there. Much better play when Jamaica plays a uh, natural offensive game and plays. Let's go with McEnough down the side. Good cross ball. Uh, see, save by, as Dawkins actually who got the final the, the goalkeeper get, seems to get a touch on it the goalkeeper makes the save. save yes that's good an save. outstanding save from the goalkeeper oh the value of replays but good move from Jamaica again yeah Austin Lawrence Austin Taylor Austin Jamaicans looking to kill this game off now. So, Haiti with Meshak on the attack. Well read by Taylor coming across and uh, giving uh, his, his left back some cover. And Jamaica is going to make a change again here. Substitution for Jamaica. Coming out of the captain, number 17, Rudolph Austin. Austin is being taken out. Joel Grant gets some playing time now. Well, this Jamaican team will have to exercise some good recuperating duties tomorrow some recuperating exercises because it's been a rough past week for them and they have a day less of recovery time than Trinidad and Tobago ahead of Tuesday's final yeah. I am jumping the gun a bit here to suggest that Jamaica will win this match but of course there is time for some special Haiti magic that could turn this game on its head Taylor, very good header there. That was a past header. Joel Grant played well when he came on in the previous game. There he is. Fights hard for the ball, keeps it well. Joel Grant plays for Yeovil Town in the English League one. McEnough a little slow there on the ball, almost lost it. The Haitians win the ball in midfield. And they have very little time to get back into this game. Alcana to Garo. Mishak. Pierre. <laughs> Ewan Gray kicks the ball. No nonsense. Miles in the sky. No nonsense play. Aveshka. Pierre. Richards intercepts the ball but can't keep it. Million for Haiti. Garon. Mishak. Jeff Louis. Still Louis. Jackie Million All of the Jamaican players behind the ball Packed up in their defensive third They do not want to concede a goal this late Free kick 
It's a penalty. It's given a penalty. Wow. What was that for? That is surprising. I think the players are stunned because it seems. It came from no, almost nothing, Lance. Are we going to see it here now? True ball, tackle. Oh, oh he handled oh, the ball. Yes, he did. He handled the ball. Yes, he did. Well done, referee. It's a good call. Yeah, it's he handled the ball. Kimar yeah. Lawrence handled the ball. It's a good call. As he was falling, he handled the ball. So we could have a rousing finish to this match. Shaki with a free with a with a penalty for Haiti. With just a minute remaining. Shaki. Brilliant save by Adrian Andre Blake. What a fantastic save by the Jamaican keeper. That was a stunning save. Great save because the penalty was hidden. It was struck very well by Shaki. Straight down to the corner. A good save by Blake. Really extended himself. Wow, well he almost he used his face to stop the ball as well. The that's hand. It. Any, every, every part of him. Once you keep them out, that's that, the most that important thing. That was absolutely brilliant because yeah. that wasn't a bad penalty. No, it wasn't. It was a very good penalty actually. And struck very powerfully. It was, it was well struck and I, I just think that was a brilliant uh, save. Wow. So, averting a possible very nervy finish for Jamaica. Because we are on to full time. Three minutes to be added on for stoppages. So the Jamaican fans here ecstatic. With their young goalkeeper displaying tremendous skills in goal to stop that penalty. Shaki, whose penalty was just saved. Tries to get some magic going on the right. Alkana Garon. Over the touchline. Throw to Jamaica. Nosworthy is going to get some playing time. To kill some of the stoppage time. Surprising we haven't been seeing uh, knows where he's starting. Uh, I would previously thought he had an injury, a lot, a good experienced well, player he, he, from he, the English league. Yeah. I think he had started in the opening match they played uh, against Martinique. He didn't play that well. M million. Alcana. Garon. Shaki gets some room here. His shot though is blocked by Taylor. Foul. Alcana penalized. There's and no a free kick to Jamaica. So Jamaica making their substitution with Nyron Nosworthy. <laughs> 34 year old defender. Was out of international football for about six or seven months because of a ruptured Achilles tendon injury he suffered in one of those Jamaica World Cup qualifiers. Big lad. So Simon Dawkins is out, so a midfielder out and a defender in. So he's just doing a job to help run the clock down as the Jamaicans are on the verge of completing a 2-0 victory over Haiti and their 12th victory all-time over Haiti in 21 meetings. Pierre. That's it. There is the final whistle and the Jamaicans have won by two goals to nil and have secured their spot in Tuesday night's final against Trinidad and Tobago. An outstanding night of football here. Moments of magic 
Dawkins in the 12th minute, Mattox in the 20th minute, and then the brilliant save close to the end by Andre Blake in goal for Jamaica. The highlights of this match as he...